When you think of technology, you're probably imagining something like modern computers or giant machines. And while those are a branch of what technology is, the term itself encompasses much more. For example, agriculture, medicine and architecture. With that in mind, let's discuss the technological development on EO. At first glance, it's quite obvious that EO isn't what we would call modern. There are no TVs, people don't run on treadmills, and using one word, you could call it primitive by our standards, akin to something we had a thousand years ago. That being said, we can't say that EO has no technology whatsoever. Things such as farming tools, weapons and armor, even the aforementioned architecture, are all a part of technology and are being developed further as time goes on. But that's not the full picture. Technology is only a small cog in the machine that makes EO work. The bigger one is magic. You see, magic is undoubtedly EO's most important characteristic. Creatures are magical, people cast magic spells, it's used to heal, to kill, and everything in between. But this video isn't about magic, it's about technology. Luckily for us, there is something that blends the two together. Technomancy, the fusion of technology and magic. A nifty thing which is abundant in the world of Spellforce. The earliest and easily biggest example of this are the Shapers who were so proficient at both magic and technology, they used magical materials to create their vast structures. Just take a look at the city ship. Something of its size could hardly ever float in the seas by itself, let alone function properly, which is exactly why it doesn't. The city ship is filled with magic throughout. It dictates how it operates, how it moves, and so on. It is also home to many tech marvels of the Shapers, such as the spider seer that defended from intruders. But as you know, the Shapers didn't last forever, and as the civilization was destroyed, so were most of their marvels. What follows is a darker period of around 40,000 years where many things, including all forms of technology, declined severely. Which brings us to today, or I guess I should say to around 1000 BC, when the dwarves found the humans in the Windwall Mountains. Keep in mind that both dwarves and elves had their civilizations and tech before this point, but we'll just group it all together for now for the sake of simplicity. Let's visualize it. Putting these three races on a scale of how technologically developed they are would probably look something like this, with the dwarves in first place. This is mainly due to the dwarves being able to use fire powder, among other things, while the other races can't, as is shown a lot throughout the games. Adding the dark races to it gives us a more complete picture, but do remember that this list isn't meant to show how advanced or intellectual a race is. The elves are a prime example of this, being ranked fairly low here, however, their main focus is on magic, not so much on technology. It all really depends on what they deem more important within their society. There's also the question of the need for something. The dwarves, not as magically gifted as the humans or elves, had to use other means to survive in the post-shaper world, so they invented them. Humans would sort of fall in the middle there, relying about equally on magic and technology. This begs the question, if certain races rely on it so much, why aren't there inventions such as flying machines or guns? The simple answer would be, the original author simply didn't want them to be a part of the universe. The complex one? They aren't necessary. Magic in most cases just proves as the better alternative. From projectile spells to teleportation and creatures which can fly, such as the griffins, it makes more sense that the people of EO looked for ways to improve those, since they are simply more effective. Take as an example a portal. It's vastly more time efficient to develop those for travel compared to anything that flies. Besides that, the overall technology level on EO, even the one of the dwarves, currently isn't at a point where something like flying machines are feasible, and the post-convocation elemental C makes that even less likely as anything flying too low to it would be destroyed. In truth, the universe simply wasn't intended to have them, and the way EO turned out so far reflects that quite well, I'd say. Does that mean technology will stagnate forever? Probably not. We've seen what the Shapers were capable of in the past, and Technomancy opens the door for a lot of possibilities, going so far as to travel through time and perhaps even replace the portal network Rowan created, as shown by Professor Twiddle. It remains to be seen. But until then, axes, arrows, and magic will just have to do. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.